What's up, fight fans? Mr. Mustache here. It's fight week, and this Saturday we got Vicente Luque taking on the former world champion, future Hall of Famer, Rafael Dos Anjos in the main event in the welterweight division. An extremely exciting matchup where you got Luque, who's coming off of two losses in a row. His most recent loss to Jeff Neal, where he got knocked out for the very first time in his MMA career. And before that, where he just got outworked against Bilal Muhammad in their rematch. And he's taking on Rafael Dos Anjos now. Rafael, he's coming off of a submission victory over Brian Barbarina, which has put him right back into, I wouldn't say title contention, but definitely top 10 contendership status, where at the time he had the knockout loss to Rafael Fazayev in his return to the lightweight division, where it just shows where at 38 years old, everywhere that he was good athletically, where he could be better than these guys, he's lost that edge a little bit. And now it's going to be his experience. So going back to welterweight where he doesn't have to rely so much on his athleticism. But he's going to be going against Vicente Luque here. Where at 31 years old, Luque, I think the biggest question mark going into this fight is going to be his confidence. And I think that we might see him not pull the trigger as much. We might see a little bit of hesitation. He has to go out there and show that this knockout loss hasn't affected him. And I think this is a really good matchup for him. Going against a big name former world champion, future Hall of Famer. And I think this is the right time to fight Rafael Dos Anjos in his career at 38 years old, where I think Luque, I think athletically, he's still in his prime, like physically still in his prime. I think that he's going to be stronger. I think he's going to be more durable. He's going to be able to take whatever punches that Rafael is going to give him. I think Dos Anjos' path to victory, he's going to have to wear on Luque. He's going to have to utilize his wrestling, make Luque fight against the cage, you know, and just really grind out Luque to the point to where he's now thinking about the wrestling to where that can maybe open up the striking for Dos Anjos a little bit. But I just think that right now where Dos Anjos is in his career, that's his only path to victory in this matchup where I think Luque, he's going to have the strength advantage, the power advantage, the athletic advantage. He's gone out there and choked out guys who had dominated RDA on the ground. So I think when it comes to jujitsu and wrestling on the ground, I think Luque is going to have the advantage there. So I think that this is a really, 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 really good matchup for Luke Wise to get himself back into title contention. But this is MMA, and RDA can go out there and grind out a really solid victory. We saw that against uh, Hanato Moicano down when he went back down to lightweight. But I think here at welterweight, I think that that size and Luke just still being 31 years old, still just being the thick of his prime, I just think that he's just going to have to still be confident and not let those two losses really affect him. And that's really going to be the deciding factor in this matchup is just Luque's confidence and RDA's ability to go out there and still grind out a very hard five-round decision. Let's not forget, this is a 25-minute fight. So I'm going to be very interested to see how RDA can still hold up at 38 in a five-round fight because he still looks like he's in the best shape ever. And for Luque, I'm just curious to see where his confidence is at coming off of these two big losses in the thick of his fighting career and his the the future of the tra trajectory of his career i think that because if he takes another loss right here three in a row especially against a 38 year old rda it's going to be a tough road back for vicente luque guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section do you guys think vicente luque is going to come back with a vengeance or is Rafael dos Anjos going to continue to turn back the clock on his career and get another solid victory against Vicente Luque this Saturday. Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content. Buyers truly, Mr. Mustache MMA News out. Let's fucking go fight fans.